Hello guys, uh, welcome back to CFS video tutorials. In this video tutorial, we will go through a design of a stacked wall condition. So in this scenario, uh, we will be designing studs for like let's say three or four stories of a building. So what I'll do is like I'll just go to CFS, CFS designer and once it opens under wall framing you can find stacked walls so i select that okay now i have only one level over here so let's say i select five levels and i got my five levels over here okay we'll worry about all these values towards the end right now we'll just input our uh, necessary inputs first thing is bracing I'll have one setting bracing. I'll keep bracing at midpoint. Next, wall heights. So I have, let's say, 12 feet wall height at the top, 10 feet for the rest of the stories. And my start spacing is gonna be 24 inches on center. This can vary. If you wanna use back to back starts or single starts, you can go for 16 inches or 12 inches. But I mean, 24 inches is very much preferred next this supported member tributary length is nothing but what is the span of the like joist sitting on the stud I mean the tributary area actually so let's say I have 12 feet on the fifth story 12 feet actually on all the stories next uh, box shows gravity load eccentricity so right now my load nothing but point load coming from top level to the bottom story I mean from the top stud to the bottom stud is acting at the center of the stud so this is where it shows it like stud depth divided by 2 but if it is in any other case scenario if it is acting at some eccentricity you can apply those eccentricities over here but in this case it's gonna be at the center of the stud so we have stud depth over two and these are my bracings next going to loads i'll say i don't want to apply any live load reduction right now uh, i'll leave the roof snow and roof wind uplift both of them as they are or you can apply as per the code okay the deflection modifier needs to be always 1.0 next coming to the wall dead load so the wall itself has its dead load i'm going to consider 10 psf and uh, so i'm assuming level 5 as my roof so i'll assume uh, dead load will be 20 and 20 okay dead and live will be 20 and 20 whereas for the rest of the floors it will be 40 and 40 40 dead 40 live now considering the wind i will be assuming 5 psf this is the basic that we consider for interior wall conditions if it is exterior wall then you need to uh, go as per the code like for this particular height you have that much amount of PSF to use but if for interior purposes we use 5 PSF I'm not gonna change this seismic coefficients coming to load combinations I can change this as I want but I'm gonna keep whatever the defaults we have now going back to the model so first thing is I see on level 5 we are using 600 s 233 okay nothing but 20 gauge stud and it's single stud which is good let me change this to 162 and it still passes so we have no problem with uh, roof level nothing but fifth level going to level 4 now I see 1.674 this is nothing but my interaction ratio it needs to be less than 1 always 
so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select 162 over here let it be 33 and I'll try to make it back to back so as soon as I make it back to back my interaction ratio goes down since the back to back has more capacity than a single start going to level 3 doing the same thing making it back to back so once even since I I mean even I made back to back it still doesn't work so I'm gonna increase the gauge to 18 gauge so that works over there right now now going to the next level doing the same thing increasing the gauge and right now 18 gauge also doesn't work so I'll go for 16 gauge similarly for level 1 so 16 gauge works so this would be my stud schedule like for a 5 story wall stacked wall condition I have my loads and everything if you want to see summary report you can like these are all the inputs you gave and towards the end you have your axial loads and then your ratios interaction ratios this ones so this is how you do a stacked wall condition for light gauge walls thank you for watching the video